Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new reaction video. Today we got worst jobs in history. Bro, so if you think your job is bad right now, maybe after this video you might be like, hey, maybe my job's not too bad. Because it could be worse, guys. It always could be worse. But, uh, y'all boys and girls ready? I'm ready. This video might be a little late, and I apologize. I I was doing stuff today, but, uh, yeah. Grandma just came out of surgery, so I had to take care of her. So, yeah, didn't really have time to react. So, yeah, this video might be, uh, what time is it? It's like 10.28. So, I usually, I'm going to start posting around 10 p.m., but, uh, yeah, it's like 10.28, so I don't know. Anyway, guys. Y'all boys and girls ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Worst jobs ever. No one likes working. <laughs> jobs suck at the best of times, but imagine having to wipe a royal ass or steal a corpse yeah. just to get paid. Join us as we take a look at some of the strangest and most ridiculous jobs in history. Number six. Dog whipper. Between the 16th and 19th centuries. This is a job? Why? My heart. A dog whipper was employed by the church to remove misbehaving dogs from the church grounds during services. The dog whipper was armed with a very long whip and a huge pair of dog tongs designed to remove the pesky pooches before they could ruin the sermon. Number five. Red That's so sad. Poor dogs. Hate to see it. Resurrectionists. In the early 1800s, medical schools throughout Europe were in increased demand for corpses. To meet this new demand, people known as re resurrectionists would steal newly laid corpses from their burial plots. Because body snatching only carried a small fine at the time, there was little to no risk. Realising that they were paid more for fresh corpses, two resurrectionists, Burke and Hare, took to murder as a way of paying their bills. This eventually led to the passage of the Anatomy Act 1832. This strict new act tightened the rules by which corpses could actually be used for medical purposes and effectively ended the short-lived career of the resurrectionist. Number four. That's messed up. Groom of the stool. During the time of King Henry VIII's reign, the groom of the stool was considered a rather privileged position. In charge of royal finances and even setting the national fiscal policy, the groom of the stool seemingly had it made. That is with one minor exception. The detail also included wiping the king's royal ass. Mm -mm. Number three. Ew! That's disgusting! Why would, why would, I mean, I guess, uh, if you're, like, struggling, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do to make those buccaronis, but, uh, phew, has to be better jobs. A knocker upper -er. Before alarm clocks were affordable, a knocker-up was employed to wake up the town's residents in time Ooh. for work. They would mostly use a long bamboo rod to tap at the windows of people sleeping in the upper levels. Sometimes even a pea shooter was used to wake up those who could not get up in time. Number two. Sin Eater. It was the responsibility of the Sin Eater to eat the sins of the recently departed. Food passed over the body would supposedly absorb the sins of the deceased and be passed on to the eater. This job was performed only by the very poorest of society who, in exchange for a meal and a small amount of money, would consent their soul to eternal damnation. Number one. <laughs> Whipping boy. 
During the English monarchies of the 15th and 16th centuries, a young boy was chosen to take the place of the prince when he needed to be punished. The boy would take a beating if the prince played up or fell behind in his schoolwork. The idea was that the prince would become so emotionally attached to the boy as they spent a great deal of time together that he would not like to see someone else punished for his behaviour. However, this wouldn't work if the prince was an absolute asshole. <laughs> Well, that's about it for shitty jobs, as always. <clears throat> what? Yo, imagine being imagine being punished. Imagine your brother doing something, or sister. Imagine your sibling just doing something dumb and stupid, and you get punished for their stupidity. Hate to see it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. What was your... What was the worst job on this list? For me, I think it has to be wiping someone's ass. It's like... That's disgusting. I don't even want to think about that. You know, so next time you complain about your job, remember, you could have one of these six jobs. So it could have been, it could be worse. Anyway, guys, hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. Subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll see you in another reaction. <laughs> Goodbye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.